Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about one event, the name of the event or the following one, Journey to the Other World, which is basically the Asmodeus run. So first of all, this run is available from level 90 and above that level, so if your character are lower than level 90, then you can't teleport to these maps. If you are at least level 90, then you can teleport to these maps. You find the portal for the Asmodeus run at the beginning of the level 90 maps, at the very beginning of the Cape Dragonfire map. Just simply teleport there with the teleporter NPC, and you will see already the green portal as soon as you arrive to the Cape Dragonfire map. You could also use Teleport Ring, but I don't recommend you to do that. That one teleports you far away from the beginning of the map, where you could find the green portal, which allows you to enter to the Journey to the Other World maps. Let me show you real quick what am I talking about. As you can see, the green portal is no longer there, since the event is ended. But never mind, I will show you why you shouldn't waste your time on using teleport rings when you are planning to do this event. It's simply a waste of time, and waste of teleport ring too. Now let's get back to the event. So, you need a minimum level 90 character. You can do this run only if you are not a part of a group. You has to be alone, in order to enter this run. You can enter to the map in group, but you can't start the run as long as you are a member of a group. First of all, let's start with the preparation. I suggest you to open some Moonlight Treasure Chest to get some Blessing of Life and Blessing of the Dragon items. These potions are very useful when you are facing against Asmodeus, since he deals a huge damage to you, and these Blessing of Life potions will save you for sure. Also you need some Critical Strike and Piercing Strike potions too. I don't know how should I call them. Resources? Never mind. Meanwhile, I'm opening the Moonlight Treasure Chest. I'll start to speak about the items you might need there, if your goal is defeating Asmodeus. So, let me make this clear. You will deal huge damage against Asmodeus, but it's the same about him. He will one-shot you if you don't have enough of skill damage resistance and darkness resistance. Also, if you want to deal more damage to him, you need some power against undead bonuses in your items. Now let's talk about the items finally. Shoes. I recommend you to use Oceanus shoes. 10% crit rate would be nice. Maybe 8% chance for blockout or some HP. Necklace. Use Heaven Tears. Necklace plus 9 with 10% crit rate, maybe 8% chance for blockout, plus 50 attack value, or 5% power against monsters. Bracelet. Heaven Tears. Bracelet plus 9 with 20% power against undead would be great or use one with 10% piercing hits and plus 50 attack value, and some HP and maybe even some HP absorb. Shields, use Titan Shield plus 9 with 50 attack value, or with 20% against undeads. Armor, use any kind of armor with plus 100 attack value. Earrings, use Emerald Earrings plus 9 or Ebonoi Earrings plus 9 with 20% power against undeads. Helmet, use any kind of helmets with 20% power against undeads. Also have one good weapon with high AVG percent. Also a good slash. And feel free to use some fishes and potions against him. After all, he's not the weakest boss in the game. Also, use any kind of talisman, but would be better to use one darkness talisman with 25% resistance against darkness. Let me show you some important resources which might help you to perform better in the fight against Asmodeus. These fishes and potions are increasing your damage, but also, giving you plus 10% resistance against darkness damage. Your target should be the following ones. Have as much skill damage resistance as much as possible. Have as much darkness resistance as much as possible. More skill damage, resistance and darkness damage resistance you have, the less damage Asmodeus will deal to you. I suggest you to have at least 40% skill damage resistance and at least 40% darkness damage resistance. Also around 30k HP would be nice. Before you could enter to this map, you has to do very basic and very important thing. You has to kill monsters around your level, so you will obtain Death Flames, which are the keys to start the Journey to the Other World event. The event itself. The event is split into two phases. In the first phase of the event, where the boundaries to the Other World are weakening, you can play for items which you will require in the second phase, by defeating monsters and gathering background. PNG Death Flame, PNG Death Flames. These can be exchanged for Black Letters, Water of Life, Dead Souls, and Asmodeus Key. At the end of this phase, the Otherworld Portal becomes available, and you can journey through to the other side. 
Take note that all these items are fictional and are only available in the event description window. In the second phase, you must battle through the other world. Here you will need to call upon the items which you gathered in the first phase. Confront four emissaries for the right to face Asmodeus. In these fights you will already have the chance to loot some great rewards. If you are successful and manage to defeat the mighty Asmodeus, you can enter the Divine Room of Salvation, where even more fabulous treasures await. Crafting Death Flames All event items used is to be crafted in the event window and exchange Death Flames, which you can obtain by killing monsters during the first phase. Exchanging may fail. There is a 80% success rate for each exchange. Make sure you craft these items before starting a challenge. Black Letter Black Letters are required to enter. To enter other world, you need three black letters. To start a challenge, you need ten black letters. Water of life. Water of life can be used to revive yourself when you die inside the other world. When you have water of life already crafted, the option to use it will appear if you die. The amount of water of life required increases the more often you die. Dead soul death souls can be used to decrease Asmodeus's HP. The more death souls you use, the more HP reduction Asmodeus will have to use it. Talk to Guardian Heite in Otherworld. The reduction will take effect the next fight against Asmodeus, as well as all other Asmodeus during the fight. Asmodeus Key The Asmodeus Key can be used to instantly challenge Asmodeus to skip all four emissaries. You can use it when you talk to Guardian Heite. But I don't recommend you to skip that four emissaries. They gives three costume. Those three costume last only for 60 minute, each one of them. But as long as you wear that three costume at the same time, it will give you an extra plus 300% power against undeads, and also plus 100% power against darkness. Basically free 300% undead power and 100% darkness power, right? And it just costs you a few minute, and a bit of death flames, but still way cheaper than crafting Asmodeus keys. Now let's speak about the run, step by step. Once you are there you have to face with the following bosses, whose will give you the costumes, and a otherworld talisman. To challenge Asmodeus, you must first successfully complete four trials. All trials can be started in Otherworld Talk with Death Emissary to start a challenge. Each entry costs ten black letters. Up to five Death Flames can be obtained after each completion. Trial of Earth. When you enter, you can choose to challenge between two Earth Emissary. The difference is the difficulty. You must kill your selected opponent. Reward, Damnation Hairstyle, one hour. Trial of Night. You must kill Knight Emissary without dying. When you die, you will be teleported back. When Knight Emissary is nearly defeated, A will be spawned which heals the Guardian's HP by 5% reward. Damnation Weapon Skin, 1 hour. Trial of Thunder. You must kill Thunder Emissary without the use of items to recover or buff your HP and SP. When Thunder Emissary is nearly defeated, you will get a debuff that increases the cooldown of your skills. Reward. Damnation costume. One hour. Trial of Air. You must kill Air Emissary. A debuff will be applied during the whole trial, which decreases your defense by 500. Reward. Otherworld Talisman. Effect last for 20 minutes. All four challenges must be completed before you face Asmodeus, unless you use the Damnation Key. During the fight you will have a debuff of minus 30% strength against monsters. Otherworld Talisman can be used to avoid this debuff. As ruler of the Otherworld, Asmodeus can never be truly defeated. It will constantly respawn when you defeat him. The use of dead souls is applied after every Asmodeus you face in that round. Reward. First six Asmodeus will drop Damnation Chest. All other Asmodeus will drop Damnation Chest Plus. Salvation. After killing Asmodeus, you can talk to Guardian Heite, who will teleport you to Salvation. You have 15 minutes to move freely in this map. When you die, you will be teleported back. In this map, you will find a couple of metan stones. The number of the metan stones you find there are random. All materials used for Damnation Shield or Phoenix of Redemption can be found here. A Salvation metan scroll can be used here to spawn some more metan stones. As you have seen, I killed Asmodeus, but it was so hard, guys. I had just 45% skill damage resistance and 10% darkness resistance. And also once I killed him, I wasn't talking to the NPC, so I haven't teleported for that map where I could farm materials for the shield. Never mind, next time. My other ninja had just 10% skill damage resistance and 20% darkness resistance. 
That ninja of mine wasn't capable to kill Asmodeus a single time. It's a hard run for sure. Anyway guys, thank you so much for your support. When I posted my last video I had 247 subscribers. Now 294. That's crazy. Thank you so much. I hope this video helped you a bit.